So you made it to the crowdfunding page. Anyway, here's our bird box bees, and they're flying in and out. Now just to add to the excitement of today's episode, we've come in a different vehicle, and so I forgot my bloody hive tool. But it's okay, never fear, we can re... What do we call that? What do they call that? Reinvent? No, it's called repurpose. That's what them Pinterest people are doing on all their, all their shows, they're repurposing. So I've got this old bloody thing from a massive old angle grinder that I found in the shed. It's got a cute little pointy bit to get the lids open. I'm not really sure, but that's kind of going to be my leave a bit to get the, get the frames out. Let's see if that works, you never know. Well, let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Yeah, that actually works pretty good. That's almost a patented hive tool. Hive tool. Now just to add to the fun, I thought I had a jolly um, cigarette lighter in my pocket. But like I said earlier, we were in the wrong vehicle, so we've got no hive tool, no smoker. So I tell you what, this is going to be an adventure. We're going to find out whether these girls are still as relaxed as they were when we put them in here. And if you're wondering why there's only two, we actually had one that didn't make it straight up, and we had two that got attacked because they're so relaxed. The jolly poor little buggers, they got robbed by the other bees. And it was, a, it was a real box on in the backyard. But anyway, these guys survived. So hopefully they've done all right and they've rallied out of the whole mess. Ooh, there's a buzz. Funny that. <laughs> Hello, girls. Oh, you smell like you're doing all right. Let's have a look. Let's just let them relax a little bit. Let them get used to the fact that we're here annoying them. Hello. Hello, chicks. They're not banging them on the head, at least that's something. They're not in the best foraging ground here, by the way. So that's probably not, it's not ideal where they are, but it's a lot better than some other spots they could be right here in the desert, because nothing's really happened here. Let's see what they're doing. Let's see if we can find a bit of brood going on. Oh, they got a bit of nectar. A little bit of honey that they're collecting. We might just pluck these rubber bands off here while we're in it. While we're here fooling around. We'll chuck them out. Give them one less thing to worry about. Oh, this isn't the ideal hive tool, but it's not too bad, actually. I'm pretty impressed. I might actually have to find another one. A reserve one. Hello, girls. Look at that. They're pretty chilled out since they didn't get any smoke at all. So they're, they'd have good reason to be pissed off with us here stuffing around. But they're not banging on me at all. i got some other crazy girls up there that are really feral. And they just, that would be stinging the ass off me by now. Oh, here's a bit of brood going on. Look at that. Her Majesty's doing something good. Not really orderly, but not too terrible. That looks bloody nice. Look at that nice pattern in there. So I reckon these girls might actually be what we've been looking for, because I've been trying to find myself a bit of a Mally B strain that are friendly and are, and are bloody um, busy little workers. And look at that beautiful pattern she's laid there. So we might actually start to see if we can't multiply these girls. And we could have our own Mally Bush Bee Man bees. How messed up would that be? Oh, here she is, I reckon. She's really, really quite a nice looking queen. She's got a nice looking pattern. The girls are pretty chilled out that she's raising. So she might be the start of our whole new colony. I reckon we might. This is what I've been. This is why I've been stuffing around. If you've been wondering, this is the whole reason why I've been stuffing around, getting different bees that have basically gone wild in our environment and have got used to where we're living. Most of the ones I've caught so far are so bloody psycho; they're unworkable. But these guys are really cool, so this might be a winner. Cool. Well, I reckon that's pretty successful. I reckon she's doing a good job. We might actually have ourselves a new Mally B. How cool would that be? That's a lot of bees in that sentence, wasn't it? That's kind of stupid. Anyway, now that you've made it all the way to our crowdfunding page, why don't you click on the link below there? Is there a link? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but anyway, why don't you click on the click on the part below there where you can actually support us and make this show bigger, better, and brighter, and more fun.